Software Spring Presence How to use HStack in Google Sheets Hello folks, greetings. Welcome to this tutorial on the HStack function. We will begin by taking a look at the topics of this tutorial. Intro to HStack Syntax and example of HStack function formula An objective of using HStack function Quick review Intro to HStack HStack combines one or more ranges into an array. HStack horizontally and sequentially stacks second range to first, third range to second, and so on. HStack fills extra cells with NA error if the ranges are of different sizes. I will demo a method to fix the NA error in the later part of this tutorial. Syntax an example of HStack function formula. Here is an example. Range 1 is the first range to which range 2 will be appended horizontally. Range 2 and others are optional. An objective of using HStack function. To create a new array, appending data in one range to another range horizontally. Alright, this is the range we will append to this range and form a new, larger array. Okay, let me type the HStack function formula in this cell. First, Type the equal to symbol, hs, and select hstack. For range 1, select this range. Type comma. For range 2, select this range. Press enter. Alright, the data in the second range has been appended to the first range horizontally because this function has not retained the formatting let me bold the headers and center the other content one way to fix the na error is to make both the ranges to be the same size so let me insert a row below this row select this row Right click, and select insert one row below. Now, let me modify the formula, to include the additional row, in the first range. There you go. The NA error is, fixed. Let me add some data here. Okay, HStack has automatically updated the data here. Quick review. HStack function creates a larger array from one or more ranges. HStack horizontally appends a range to another range. HStack fills extra cells with NA error if the ranges are of different sizes. The HStack function formula is Range 1 is the first range. Range 2 is optional and will append to range 1. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.